For the first few months since China's space station officially entered into long-term operation, its occupants, the Shenzhou 15 crew who oversaw its completion, described their time as busy, busy, busy in their video diaries. They've completed four spacewalks so far, more than previous Shenzhou crews. And on their walks, they've installed equipment for extravehicular scientific as well as other experiments. China's space station can now produce 100% of its own oxygen supply through its own board regeneration system. And with the National Space Lab powered up, the space station has performed its first ignition experiment earlier this year, with over 40 such experiments to be completed by the end of 2023. The Shenzhou 15 crew successfully obtained the three-dimensional structural images of their skin cells with the country's self-developed two-photon microscope. And China's space station has enjoyed relatively calm space weather over the past few months. And scientists on the ground say it's prepared for any possible changes in conditions. <laughs> When designing the space station, changes in space weather are taken into account. We've accumulated a lot of experience in dealing with space weather events and have taken corresponding protective measures. Our laboratory began using this device to simulate and study the environment around the space station as early as 2015. And as the space station enters long-term operation, our work continues. In the near future, just like weather forecasts on the ground, we hope there will be space weather forecasts that predict the impact of space weather on Earth, as well as the space station and other spacecraft. After the long March 7 carrier rocket launches the Tianzhou 6 cargo ship to the space station, the Shenzhou 16 crew are expected to arrive at the outpost to take over from the Shenzhou 15 crew in a month or so, with the latter returning to Earth, saving the knowledge they've made history. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.